started. The test is, isn't in our rhetoric, but what action we propose. And for the gentleman from California, his action plan is bankruptcy. Bankruptcy. And the suggestion is go into Chapter 11. Yeah, but that's what essentially that's being well, proposed by the minority, that, by but some in the minority. They're saying do Chapter 11. Mr. Dreyer, that's bankruptcy. And I understand that Chapter 11 is bankruptcy, but I'm just saying that I have not advocated okay, that. I do know many on your are. side are. The gentleman yelled? Yes. Yeah, that, uh, bankruptcy has been the primary argument I've heard as the preferred alternative from Republican members of the committee I chair. And not from all. We hope for a bipartisan effort. We work with the White House. And it's interesting that now we face opposition, though the White House has said action is necessary. The president-elect has said action is necessary. The, the speaker has said action is necessary. The majority leader in the Senate has said action is necessary. And now what many are saying on the other side in this House is bankruptcy. Chapter 11. Chapter 11 will lead to Chapter 7. And I just want to quote from a few documents that say that. A recent study by the Anderson Economic Group says it would be four times more expensive for a bankruptcy proceeding than a federal bridge loan. And also, J.P. Morgan, I want to read this, their analysis. Without government support, we believe auto suppliers will tighten terms, causing big three bankruptcy filings. Due to a potential sales declines and fixed cost absorption issues, we expect a Chapter 11 reorganization will rapidly move to liquidation. Look, this is complex, but what isn't complex is the essential continuation of a domestic auto industry. Mr. Dreyer says, don't play favorites, winners and losers. Doing nothing to help the domestic industry is playing favorites. So I suggest we look at what's um, involved here. This bill proposes strong oversight. All parties will come to the table, all parties, without Chapter 11, without 7. All parties will be brought to the table, and taxpayers will be protected. Let me just say what's at stake here. We're talking about millions of people. We're talking about people who work in the factories, people who manage them. We're talking about suppliers. If one of the big three goes down, the supplier network will be devastated. And all those who sell automobiles and all those who are involved indirectly in the economy. So I just urge the time for rhetoric is gone. Why is this going so fast, Mr. Dreyer? It's because there's an international economic and national credit crisis. Every country that has an automobile industry is now helping them. Rushing? It doesn't matter whether they're conservative or liberal or socialist. All of the other countries are moving to help. Speaker, well, the gentleman, let me just I'd be finish. happy to yield an additional 30 seconds. Uh, well, let gentleman. me finish, and then I hope... Time has expired. The time's expired. Well, okay, well, I'd like, to, I'd like to yield the gentleman 30 seconds, Mr. Speaker. Right? Okay. And I'd ask him to yield to me. Yes. I thank you for yielding. And, Mr. Speaker, let me just say that I, I believe that this notion that, that, that you inferred, I said, do nothing, is, in fact, discriminating against the domestic auto industry, I, and uh, it seems that people did, I'm happy to say, listen to my statement, I advocate taking action that would provide a tax credit to get people into the showroom so that they can, in fact, purchase okay, automobiles. Let me take my time back, because Absolutely. the main proposal, as Mr. Frank has said, from some on the minority side is bankruptcy. Well, and, and let me just finish, and I'll ask for an additional 30 seconds, if I might. 
Every country with an auto industry is helping. You can call it rushing. The German government. If the German the Euro, I, believe that we're, I believe that we're doing that, in fact, by providing incentives I to get people to the showrooms. Yeah, look, there's I nothing that you proposed that would help a bridge loan so the companies would survive, so that there could be continued restructuring that they've started. Germany, the European Commission is being requested for $50 billion. This is 15. Brazil, $3 billion. Argentina, even China is, because of this credit crunch, now saying they're going to help their industry. And essentially what is being proposed by those who oppose this is paralysis. We need action to help bridge. They have started. They have a long ways to go. It is up to us to provide this bridge to the future. These companies domestic are moving on electric cars, on hybrids. Don't shut them down when they want to.